I'm Kim. This is a very quick and simple recipe. This particular meal, which is going to be Hawaiian meatballs. The freezer um, style Ziploc baggies. There's always a spot in the front to where you can label what it is you're doing. So definitely take a few minutes before you start your prep to write down the name of the um, recipe that you're doing and actually how you would cook it. This particular meal is recommended to cook it in your crock pot for three to four hours on high. So I listed all of that right on my label so that way in the freezer it doesn't look like just a, a, a bunch of mishmash and you're not sure what the world is in that baggie to cook. You can see I'm gonna do quite a few of them today and this way, once I go in the freezer, I'm gonna have three meals, already three meals, sorry, three meals already prepared in the freezer and ready to go to where when I have those days where I'm just busy, busy, I can just pull it out and go. All right, let's get started. So it takes one 32 ounce bag of meatballs. We particularly uh, like the turkey meatballs, but you can use home style meatballs too. But they are in the frozen section in Walmart. So all you have to do is cut them open like so and then pour them in your baggie. Okay and then you just add um, one red pepper cut up kind of largely. Okay and I made it to cut up my green pepper because I want to be able to show you a quick and easy way of being able to cut up your pepper but yet easy to eliminate the seeds at the same time. Okay so all you do is you take your knife and of course it is a good idea to have your knife sharp but you're going to go right along the um, outer edge of this little stem portion here as you can see. So if you go along this edge and just cut straight down, you see not too many seeds. And if I do the same thing on the other side, and I just continue to do this all along the pepper. When I get down to the end, you see what you have left? It's just the middle section full of seeds. I just clip away any parts of the stems that are still attached and if I see any seeds I just try to knock them out but they'll be very few in comparison and it just makes your job a little bit simpler and easier. Obviously you want to make sure before you start prepping any food that you wash your hands. And with that being done, all you have to do is we're just going to, going to slice the pepper kind of wide strips. Now, in this recipe, if you have a particular vegetable that you would like to add, certainly it would not be um, an issue. And depending on your family, you might decide not to use green pepper if your family just doesn't care for them much. But then I try to just Put them all together nice and neatly like so. And then I'm gonna take my knife and just kind of do some big chunks. And then of course, one of my other favorite gadgets in my kitchen is my foldable cutting board. It makes my life so much easier because after I cut, especially when I'm trying to add it to my bag for my recipe, it's so easy to dump it in. Watch. You fold it up, give it a little shake, and it's a done deal. I love this little gadget. Okay, next is a, um, a 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks. I like the pineapple chunks that's in its own juice because it's a little bit healthier than getting it in a heavy syrup. I've already wiped off the top to sanitize it. And you're gonna open this up. And you're just gonna, um, oops, hold on. Put my part here. 
think my bag's getting a little heavy. There we go. So then I just add this in, juice and all. And then we want to use um, two thirds cup of white vinegar. White vinegar is the one that's recommended, but two thirds of a cup. Another one of my gadgets that I love to use is my containers, especially for my flowers and my sugars because that way it keeps them bug free and it keeps them um, moist, in this case my brown sugar moist. But here's another trick. Keep your brown sugar very loose and moist at the same time. Not only do you wanna get these snappy lids on there in order to, to keep the air out of it, which is amazing, but if you look inside, you're gonna see I have three large size um, marshmallows over in the corner. If you put marshmallows in your brown sugar, it keeps it soft and pliable. Look what I mean. I can just go in there and scoop, and as you can see, it's very loosey-goosey. It's not stiff at all, but it keeps my brown sugar nice. And here, it takes one cup of brown sugar, as you can see, and you just pour that in. So my next item that I use in the um, Hawaiian meatball recipe is um, liquid aminos. It is a soy sauce alternative by the company Bragg. I love this product because, um, especially for those that have had cancer in the past, one of the things you know that they take you off of is soy products. So I like this because it tastes like soy but it has a very minute amount of soy because most of it is all nothing more than just amino acids which is very good for your body and your immune system. So on this, it asks for two tablespoons of this one. And that, my friends, is the recipe for your Hawaiian meatballs. So, here's all you have to do. You take it apart now. You bring it over here. I'm gonna put that there. Put this over to the side so you guys can see what I'm doing. Make sure you zip it up good. I would not take the air out of it yet, but just zip it closed. And then I lay it down and I just roll it as such in order to get all of the seasoning and all of the liquid and the flavor mixed in kind of nicely, as you can see. I just do that for a couple of times, and then I go back and I'll just open a corner of my bag. Now I squeeze my air out and zip it shut tight again. And now my meal is ready to go in the freezer. I will lay it flat and as these go to show you, which I've already done in the freezer, and you see how flat they are. Now I have three meals that I can pull up and feed a large family with some sides. As you noticed in this particular recipe, I use a lot of the products that were a great value brand. That is because I bought them at Walmart. One of the programs Walmart has that I really have come to appreciate, thanks to my daughter, is the Walmart online grocery app. When you um, go on and you download that app, you can choose the groceries you want. You get to pick the day you would like and the time that you want to pick up your groceries. So it gives you uh, more than enough time to start filling in your grocery list. And up until the day before you pick up your food, you can either edit, remove, or add to your grocery list with no extra charge. 
and when you go pick up your groceries, if there's anything you decide to substitute, they will let you know ahead of time before you even travel to get your grocery order. Let me give you an example. This past week I did it, uh, I did my order, went to pick them up, but before I got there, I got a um, text letting me know uh, that they did not have two pounds of my brown sugar, so they substituted a four pound name brand um, bag of brown sugar. But they only charged me for the two pound price that I had originally ordered. So that means I got an extra two pounds of brown sugar for free. I love it. Worked out super good. And they do this all the time. If the product you order, they don't have it, they will substitute with an upgrade. So it's a win-win all the way around. Unless, of course, you order something and it's out of stock, then they can't obviously fill your order. But I appreciate the fact that you know ahead of time before going. So if you really need that item that's out of stock, it prepares you so that you can go to another store to pick it up. But now, when you go to the other store, you may only have one or two items that you have to pick up instead of doing the whole grocery order and it taking, you know, loads of time. So I hope those were some nice tips for you. I hope it's something that you can incorporate and use. So don't forget, go give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so that any new videos that come out, you'll be able to be the first to get them. As well, please leave me a comment if you have any questions on this recipe or where we get products, whatever question you might have. I love them and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a wonderful day. Pick them up as well as the day you want to pick them up. I'm just messing that all up. Blah, 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 blah. You take your knife, and of course it is a good idea to have your knife sharp, but you can see. So if you go along this edge and just cut straight down. They are. Now I have three meals that I can pull out and feel, feel, and feed a large Today. family. And this way, once I go in the freezer, I'm gonna have three meals, already, three meals, sorry, three meals already